In this video, I'll show you how to set up an account for Bloomberg. When you go into the Financial Study Center, find a computer with the double screens. At the bottom of the screen will say Bloomberg. Log in like you normally log in to any UTSA machine. And then once you're logged in, click on the Bloomberg button. It will click it. It will take a while for it to load, so just let it load. Um, In order to get a Bloomberg account, you will need a phone that you can receive text messages on because Bloomberg will send you a code that you'll need to finish the, the login function. In order to start the process, you can see it's now loaded. On the keyboard, there's a button in the top right that's red. You click that button. When you click that button, the login screen will come up. If it doesn't come up immediately, just hit the button again until it finally does. And there's a login. But since you don't have a login, you can't do that. So all you need to do is down below that, it says forget login name or password. You want to go below that and it says create new login. So just click on that. And then the first one, just leave as yes. The second one asks, have you ever been a Bloomberg client? Just click no on that one, and then click to continue. Essentially, at this point, you're just going to follow the directions. Put your name in there, last name, first name. Don't worry about capital letters or a small case. Just, do, just type everything with the cap locks off. Create your password. Make sure you write it down when you do your password. And then give them phone number. You can type the same phone number in twice. You should type it like this your area code, then the minus sign, your next three numbers, and the last four with the dashes. And you can do that in both spots. Enter your, your email account. And since I already have an account, I can't really go on to the next one, but I'll, I'll set it up anyway, just so you can see me do it. So I just type all of that stuff in there. Just so I can show you the next page. Well, I'm going to go and put both phone numbers in there too. You can see how I just put the same number in twice. Then you click continue. And at this point, you need to pick one of these phone numbers to send a text. So you just you click on that one. I'm not going to do send code, but you, that button down there says send code. When you click on that, they will text you a code. When they text you that code, you enter that into Bloomberg and hit enter. And once you do that, um, you'll never need that code again, so you don't need to keep it. And once you do that, then you're set up, you're ready to go, so just hit the red key again. And just keep hitting it until you get the screen to come back to the uh, the entry and just keep hitting it until you get the login screen. At this point you can just log in with your account. One thing I forgot to mention is after you, you enter in the validation code the next screen that comes up will give you your login name. The login name is usually your first initial your last name and then a number. Mine is R Suite One because I'm I'm the first one, but yours might be your first letter, your last name, and six, seven, eight, nine. I've seen some as high as 250. So, so enter that in. And when you do that, you are in. You might get a screen to ask you where you want to be located. If you do, just type U.S. for United States and hit enter. And then you just want to be up here at the very, very top. Once you're in the Bloomberg and you've got everything set up, there are some videos that can help you if you'd like. You just type the letters B for Bloomberg and U for University and hit enter. And when you do that, you can see there's some training videos if you want to watch some of those. I would recommend that you go to the Getting Started. And when that video comes up, you can just watch that video and just have some earphones so that you can you can watch it so it's it's at about 18 18 minute video 
So if you have earphones, you can come in anytime and watch that. That one will at least get you started, started on how to get around Bloomberg. In order to get out of Bloomberg, once you've logged in, you just come down to the bottom with your cursor and just right click and just say close and then say yes, you want to close Bloomberg. So you now have an account. Anytime you want to come into the FSC and use Bloomberg, you're set up.